And there's all these forum posts, Reddit posts, YouTube videos, instructional overviews on how to deal with the Samsung Galaxy connected without internet issue on your wireless adapter. Most of the solutions out there are just flat wrong or they're temporary uh, measures that may only get you a couple hours or a day of stable connectivity. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you exactly what the issue is, what causes the issue to happen, and how to mitigate it permanently. So on your phone, you'll want to go into your Wi-Fi settings and click the little gear icon next to your um, network connection. And when that network connection opens, click on view more. And then I want you to scroll down. You have this section called IP settings. You want to set a static IP address. Okay. By default, it's DHCP. You want static. Now there are some videos that tell you to do that and that's correct, but they don't tell you um, the other pieces of the puzzle. Network length, that's default. Your DNS one should be the router gateway. Okay. That's important if you want to access any, re any resources on your local network. Uh, DNS2 is uh, Google's fast DNS, which I have entered there. Then this is the second most important piece of the pie. Mac address type. By default, all the Galaxy phones use randomized Mac address. That's Mac spoofing. Okay, that changes your Mac address all the time. Every time you connect to the network, it's going to change your MAC address. If you have multiple access points at your at your house, when you move from one access point to another access point, uh, your MAC address might change. And if that happens, it causes your mesh network to freak out. It's like, whoa, what just happened? I gave this IP address to this one MAC address, and now all of a sudden, that IP address is showing up on a different MAC address, and it just like totally craps out. So phone MAC address, that's your true hardware MAC of the phone. It's not going to change. It's going to stay the same. You can see what my Mac is there. And then down below, you can see my IP address. So uh, also um, the network type right here, metered network, just treat it as unmetered because at home you don't have a metered network. So it, more times than not, um, I'm on a 6E uh, connection here. So that does about 2.5 gigabits per second over wireless, which is insane. But you just take a look at these settings, static and phone Mac put in your IP address and different things like that. So how do we, how do we set a static IP, right? Well, I'm glad you asked. So you log into your router, you go to LAN settings, you go to DHCP server. Um, it, you know, different routers have it in different places, but typically it's somewhere under LAN or DHCP. Just look for DH, so look for DHCP server until you find it. And then you want to enable manual assignment. Okay. Um, what you'll do is you'll identify the Mac address of your phone. And unless you, if your phone's labeled, then you'll, you'll see it, right? But check that Mac, make, you know, compare that with the Mac address that's actually on your phone and validate that it's the same um, phone Mac. And then, you know, set your IP reservation. That's going to solve the issue, right? Like pretty much full stop. That's going to solve the issue right there. Um, there are a few other small tweaks that you should probably make. Um, if you have a tri-band router, you probably want to disable Smart Connect. And you want to have your 6 gigahertz band on its own SSID. And then your 2.4 and your 5, you can have on the same SSID with the same password. Okay, And your phone and your router will work very nicely together to, to move you from 6 to 5 to 2.4 as the distance from your access point increases. So if you're in your house and then all of a sudden you wanna go across the street or in your backyard, it'll kick you down to five, it'll kick you down to 2.4 and it'll just, it'll make those transitions, right? Um, the next thing you wanna do is um, set up your roaming assistant to disconnect clients at negative 70 or negative 75 decibels. Not 65, not 60, um, 70 or 75. Maybe even as high as 80, but I wouldn't really go over 80. And then if you can do a wireless site survey with wi with a, the Wi-Fi Analyzer app on your phone, or if your router has um, like a Wi-Fi radar capability, you can actually check um, the different access control channels in your area um, and what the saturation is, the available capacity 
interference and saturation on every channel and then hard set your channels, your control channels for 2.4, um, 5, and 6. Hard set those control channels. This actually, this actually I had set to like 108, but hard set all those channels um, because that way you're going to minimize any interference with your neighbor's networks. Now, that's that has nothing to do with your connected without internet issue. But if you are connected and you notice that you're having dropped packets, your your internet is running really slow, it's not lightning fast like it should be, it is because of channel capacity and interference from your neighbor's networks. And setting these particular channels will be key. So use Wi-Fi radar or on your phone, on your mobile device, there's a nice app called Wi-Fi Analyzer and it's fantastic. Okay, um, after you do that, after you make those changes, you won't have any more issues. You'll be running rock solid. Cheers.